Lions. Um, obviously, both good players, um, players who contributed to our success here at LAFC, who are now contributing for RSL. Um, no surprise there. Um, but both uh, were in a moment um, that it was time for them to move on for their individual careers. So all normal um, happenings in, in this line of work. Um, but certainly uh, a game uh, that'll be tough. RSL is in a very good moment, um, have come out of the break. Uh, in a strong manner, made some made some good changes. Um, you know, obviously ones we've been talking about. So um, our work is cut out for us, um, but we're at home, and um, it's a game we want to win. How is Carlos update? Um, yeah, Carlos is uh, recovering, still recovering. Um, nothing dramatic to report, but. Um, uh, will be most likely not involved in this match. Did you feel something? Was like the same thing in uh, in Minnesota, or something different? Did you feel something after that assist? What was in Minnesota? That um, assist. Maybe similar. So, like I said, nothing dramatic. Um, gonna be out very long, but for right now, um, isn't exactly at one hundred percent. Oh, uh, so you're talking, are you feeling Christian Arango is playing now with the Yeah, um, Chicho is obviously a, um, a very well-loved player here at LAFC um, amongst the fans and um, the team too. Um, is obviously somebody who knows how to score. It's a true nine, um, has his qualities in and around the box, thing we're aware of, we saw on a daily basis. It'd be nice to see him. Um, you know, we parted in, in, in good way. Um, he did as much as he possibly could for LAFC, and he was rewarded um, by moving on and making the next step in his career at Pachuca. So uh, it'll be nice to see him. Speaking about Chicho, we got asked yesterday about if there was any interest on behalf of LAFC to bring him back, and also about the, the circumstances for him to leave in the team. He say, well, uh, I'm okay with my uh, former teammates. I think the right person to be asked about this should be coaching the coaching staff. You as a head of the coaching staff, you have anything to mention about that? No. If it feels uh, special for you, like it's our uh, surrounding about the uh, Hispanic Mexican uh, media that LAFC is still the, the only favorite uh, team from the MLS to win the league score. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, it, it depends on if you look at the draw and who you play. Um, it, there's so much, so much football to be played up until then. Um, I'm not one to pick favorites to save the here. I mean, our league is built on parity. Um, the level of field is is uh, the, the level of quality in each team is pretty close. So it really depends on form and health um, as to who really the favorites are. If we are healthy and in form, we have a very good squad. I do know that, and um, we know that. Just preparing the game, the fact that it's a familiar opponent from MLS, is, is that a, a preference in that sense at this stage? Um, it, it, I mean, it makes the workload a little, a little less for us coaches um, and the capacity to to learn new habits and behaviors of opponents for our players um, uh, isn't as demanding. So um, in some ways it's less work, but um, there is some danger in that too, that you treat it like a normal game and go through the motions, uh, which it's not, it's a knockout tournament, you know, 90 minutes to get the job done or go to PK. So um, we'll be ready, but um, yeah, I mean, as far as workload goes, it's a little less because we've seen the else in a few times. So how long were you expecting to see Philip Kratzev to in the, on the pitch with that with the team? Um, when he could be ready? Oh, he's ready to go now. Since it's a visa, I know you guys are waiting for Mario's visa to be available or for an update. Um, should be hopefully done soon. Um, um, I, I I'll double check, but I don't have any answer here right now. Any other questions here in person? 
All right, let's take a couple. Now we're going to switch over to uh, take questions on Zoom. Vamos a empezar a tomar un par de preguntas para los medios de prensa que están en Zoom. Let's start off with John Lugo. Uh, Steve, I thought that Mateus had a terrific match against Juarez. I know you moved him uh, more centrally in the midfield. Can you just talk about making that adjustment and what you saw from him? And will you start him in that particular role and, and what he brings to the offense when he's playing in that position? Yeah, we were also happy with Matty's performance. I think um, you know it's a keen ob observation from you, John. He is, you know, a player who really can play in between. He's between an attacker and a midfielder. Um, so really an offensive-minded midfielder, but who's willing and able physically to put in the work of a, of a defensive midfielder. So really fits well into our system and our three-man system in the midfield. Um, so, um, you know, his development has been, has been fantastic. He's learning. He can play multiple positions. So his football IQ is obviously um, above average. Um, which is always a plus. So, um, yeah, we, we plan on using Maddie in both positions throughout the, the remainder of the season. A lot has to do with who is around him, um, what the opponent looks like, um, and we'll use him in the most effective way possible. Um, and, you know, regarding tomorrow, um, we'll just have to wait like everybody else and see. Next question, Josh Gross. Thank you. Um, Steve, is Chicho a player you have to game plan for specifically, uh, or do you not look at it that way? Normally, yes, if he wasn't uh, an ex-LAFC player, but um, his qualities and personality and characteristics are well known here. So so those were not to know, um, but I believe other clubs um, would do their homework on Chicho. How does that familiarity play into the hands of your defenders and how you plan to uh, neutral, neutralize him in the attack? Well, knowing what um, his behaviors and habits are um, is helpful. And um, having those um, in the back of your mind um, before he gets on the ball or, or, or makes a run um, is also helpful. Um, so, what actually happens, nobody knows. Um, we'll find that out tomorrow. But um, that additional information before you process and to make a decision, before you process the information and make a decision on the field as a defender, um, that ad additional information is helpful, yes. And one more for me quickly. What about the opposite of that? How does Chicho's familiarity with you guys, your defenders, factor into perhaps you know his performance on Tuesday? Right, that's a question for Chicho. Okay. Justin, go ahead. Um, you, know, you, you asked, I just wanted to clarify, Kraftev uh, is available if he's uh, cleared, but still waiting on Gonzalez, that's correct? Correct. 